Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. I am playing with Merry Little stamp set today. I had it in my head that I wanted to hang my little stockings, but they're quite big, so I needed to, which is great for colouring and, and great, but I wanted, for what I wanted, it was not quite going to work. So what I did was we're going to draw a fireplace draw my own fireplace it's quite close because the nutcrackers in the set the little soldiers in the set are quite big they're so cute they're so cute but I'm so here I'm just sort of laying out my mantle my fire my fireplace just sort of I googled images off um, well, <laughs> Google. I googled some images and just went looking at what a fireplace might be because there's not many houses here in Australia that have as many fireplaces. Not around me. I'm not saying they're not here, but they're not around here. Not around me. The fireplaces I always grew up with were, um, what are they called? You know, the freestanding, mm. I can't think of what they're called. It will come to me, but there's a word for it. Can um, I got Carnarvon, but that's a place in WA. Anyway, metal freestanding fireplaces. I don't see, my sister-in-law used to have a normal fireplace, but um, yeah, you don't see them as much. Not as much. Not around me. Other people probably do. I digress. I've drawn a little sign to go in between my little soldiers. Because that's where my sentiment is going to be. And I'm going to break up my sentiment. I am not into cutting sentiments up. But of course you can do that. So we're going to do a little bit of mask. I can never get the puppies back in a straight line. If I so want to do it in the straight. I can't do that to save myself. So I'm going to just use a little tiny piece of post-it post note. And just stamp that down. Clean it off really, really well. Line up my second half of my image mask off the other side now you could put a piece of white paper underneath the the lid of your misty there to make sure it's um, lined up easier to see basically so we've got my little the little soldier standing on the mant mantel piece i also didn't want um oh we'll go back come back to that i needed a hole for my fire so you could just sort of you could see it I had this tiny little piece of um, tape and it almost worked out perfectly I just had to alter the inside circle as you probably saw there I'm free just drawing in a couple of you know not a couple I'm going around the edges with the bricks because I wanted they were all the all the images that I googled were mostly a solid color and I needed something a little bit different for that so we're going to go a little bit old school with the circle I'm not a drawer well I clearly I draw but I'm not a big drawer in the sense of um I draw straight things and a little bit of curvy things but on the whole I just I just draw this is going to look a little bit rustic which is perfect for what I want I have a multi-line pen this is actually a point zero three I'm going to go through in some places and bring out the point zero sorry the point three which is a little bit wider because I did have to go over this a few times and why I didn't change it earlier in the piece I don't know so this is pretty much what I draw I try I draw mostly straight line things I don't I like to add a little bit of variation into them I like scenes 
so yeah don't I, I don't know if I could draw fully the little soldiers which is great because we have stamps for that so it's perfect this is where I'm just going in with my 0.3 and just making it a little bit more darker just in certain areas that it just needed a little bit of help and that's pretty much going to be my fireplace so you can see the brickworks down the bottom is super rustic let's just say I said I don't have a degree in drawing I never went to art school um, but I like to dabble I like to have fun with it and I like my scenes so what can I say I hope that wasn't too loud oopsies my faces are pretty much my standard colors with skins so we've got E04, E11, E01 and E00 and I'm going over that two times the E04 I pretty much only put down once sometimes I won't say I never do anything else but sometimes I do add it down again but it's just giving that little bit of shadow my reds that we're using I'm so you can see there where his arm is going to meet his belly it's going to be darker you could I don't know too much about like reflective reflective shadows but I decided to put a little bit of reflective reflective shadow on his belly because honestly it was a bigger image to do that to I am working at the moment I've just left it I'm working through two times I've left in that an extra highlight in the middle there but when I go through and I come down to my lightest color or my second lightest color you can see there I'm now going over the shadow so you can still see it's a little bit darker it's harder to see on the video but in real life you can see it's a little bit it's got it's got a reflection so we've used uh, 29 27 24 and 22 the circle on his hat I purely just went around I did it in 24 but you could pretty much do it in any color you see fit I'm using the O here to because he's going to be black but even black has a little bit I want some definition so the base of his helmet there not the, not the top I'm leaving the top of that one of the lighter colors you can see there then adding the darker color along I don't know hats so we've got the rim of the hat the main body of the hat I'm, I'm putting the darker which is then going to make the rim of the hat sort of pop out that little bit more and again going through it two times just to heighten all my colors my little soldier is going to have a black mustache this is just using a little dots and little lines on it just to have a little bit of definition again it's harder to see in the video but in real life you can see a much more whiskers and again his belt is going to be black and we're going to couple of lines the lines on his his arms at his wrist there I used scene 9 so I didn't go full 100 in the hope to have it have a little bit of um, a little bit of definition but they're only really small so it it really doesn't matter too much but that's what I did his pants and around his circle oh c9 around his hat too again straight line um why did i pick that because i've changed some of my tips in my sketch markers and it has a fine tip i actually do it later on in this for a w5 i think it was that was the only one that i had of a a sketch marker so that's the one I picked here so you can see in the first image I just replaced the tip 
because I wanted a finer and I don't use my sketch very my chow, my chisel tip and then you need to let it be for a little bit and then the ink flows down and you can use that to fill in those fine details and it's a firmer tip that's me you have to figure out what you use more I very rarely very very rarely I probably could I would probably say I've used it about three times in the whole time I've been coloring I've been coloring I don't know I've been card making for about 15 years but I haven't been coloring for that whole time I didn't discover that until a little while later and that is my go-to I pretty much did other craft crafty things like cross stitch and and applique patchwork but I got into card making and then got into coloring and that's that's my jam that's what I like that's what I have fun with the mantle there I've colored I've just done shading so I've done a little it's really hard to see because it's very light but that's what I wanted just underneath him and at the back of the mantelpiece let's get onto these bricks you can see I'm just drawing these freehand because my bricks bricks are going to be rusty I'm using the W7 so it's W7 W5 W3 W1 I think the seven I'm using very very sparingly and just doing sort of shall we say L shapes on the left going underneath and on the right and going over the top then filling it in with little swipes of the other colors it is still going to have I'm looking at the card sort of trying to figure out how I'm going to describe this it sort of has a look of diagonal can you see it there a little bit of look of diagonal through it um, and you could take your darker colors over more and not have that but that's what I like so that's what I did my fireplace is not lit because here in Australia it's summer so I'm just going to use the darker colors just to fill in some depth again using some of the darker colors I think I went the W5 I haven't put the lid down there for you and then soften that out with the W3 just to push back my wall behind my the actual fireplace fireplace I'm going to trim this down I didn't do the very bottom because I knew that I was going to probably have to trim this down I trim it down to let me have a thing for a sec basically trimmed it down to I think it was about 13.4 I had to look at my cheap sheets by nine centimeters the the backing I think it wasn't quite those sort of figures but um, like 13.5 by about nine or something like that I am just going back in with my point three and doing a frame around my picture I thought he needed a little bit of a frame so have have a try of the brickwork tag us in social media tag me in social media and let me have a look my name on Instagram is just Natalie Perry Walsh I would love to see if you have a give it a try I like this W color brickwork but of course there's lots of different colors that you could you could try here I'm doing my fireplace is going to be the same sort of color except we're going for like just a W3 I think there's a W3 down to a W1 I haven't written it down but it's all around the same colors the center of my sign is going to be my C's it's just C3 and C1 and I just wanted to define my background like the wall behind 
the fireplace and the fireplace. So the background, the wall is going to be a little bit different color again. The wood, I'm using three colors for a frame, E29, E25, and we're going to go down to, just having a look at my things, 23. I knew if I waited long enough, I either had a look at my sheets or had a look at the waited for the screen, it would pop up. So 29, 25, and 23 for my wood, just to have a little something. And I've taken the darker colors out a little bit just for a little bit of interest. I got interrupted. What was I saying? Let me know. Background. We'll just go there. I think that was what I was talking about. I'm using C5 closest to my fireplace to push it back a little bit. I'm using less on this side than I did on the other side. And then because I thought, you know, the, I don't know, I'm swapping around. That's, that's something I need to work on because everything else is center highlight. I need to put the same amount of highlight on my back, my left side as I do on the right side. I'm not perfect. I like to be transparent. I like to tell you where I've gone wrong and where I feel that I'm totally loving this, like totally loving this. I've added, I've trimmed down my red panel. It's just some red cardstock that I had in my stash. It's a nice deep red color. I've trimmed that down. I've raised the center panel uh, feature image, so to speak with a bit of foam, glued the base on it. I think apart from my stickles, so I've got a bit of gold stickles and I'm just using a needle tool to spread that around into my star. So otherwise it gets too big. No, I don't have my hand in it, it even though it looks like I do, but I didn't. I thought about putting on the buckle, but uh, that baby is just too thin. I'm putting a bit of sparkle on the back, like, like clear, tinsel so to speak because I thought that was fun anyway that's my card I hope you are well I hope you are safe and I will talk to you very soon bye